Hello everyone, and welcome to today's episode of Nothing But Games Podcast. I'm your host, Matt, and I'm joined by Mike and Marcus. Hey, how's it going? Marcus. Episode. <laughs> episode? What have we got? Oh, we're already starting the uh, fucking banter for today's episode. Yeah, that's pretty great. Episode 35. That's how's actually. it going, guys? How are you? How's it going? Yeah, pretty well. Yeah. Again, any exciting news this week, Mike, for you? No. Nope. No? Nope. Marcus, you? Um. No, I'm good. Oh, okay, perfect. Mike. <laughs> Jeez, all right. Wow. Remember this day. Yeah. What oh, day yeah. Today? I don't even know. Remember, remember, the 5th of November. Nice. Viva Vendetta right there. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, moving okay. on. Welcome to oh, thanks. this podcast. You already welcomed them. You can't welcome them twice. I'm welcoming you. Oh. Both of you. Mm. Thanks. Perfect. Thanks for having me. You're welcome, just like every week. What, 35 episodes in? You still haven't died? Shocking. We are getting views. People are liking it. All right? I keep saying this every week, but I keep seeing those numbers rise every week. Are we like Drake's latest album, Views? Started from the bottom, now we are here. Yeah. (laughs) Now we are here, just keep in mind. Started from the bottom, now the whole team is here. Mm. Now the whole team's present. (laughs) Marks is spinning those raps. He's he's, uh, Canadian, so. He is indeed. Shout out to Andre. Do you even listen to Drake? What's Drake? I don't know. I listen to Josh. Oh, okay, perfect. Nice. Like Peck? Yeah. Nice. Nice. I'll be skinny one day like him, too. Don't worry. He really made that transformation, eh? Fuck yeah, he did. I and don't he know he was owned it. Who Drake else? and Josh. You haven't seen... You don't know Drake and Josh? I know Drake and Josh, but like, what, 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 what Josh event Peck, are you referring to? Where he was fat, and now he's not fat anymore? He's skinny. I, I haven't seen a, a Oh, he's like him. real thin. Marcus, you flash a, uh, <laughs> a picture of... Josh on the screen. Uh, he might copy. He might put take down for copyright. Flash nah, he, Josh back. <laughs> he's gonna be like, look at this. Look at this man. Look, oh, this is what he used to look like, and now he so he was fat, and now he's super skinny. Uh, he's a skinny boy. Yeah, he did mm-hmm. good. Yeah. He did good. Mm-hmm. I mean, look at this. Look at this. There's even a comparison. Mar- Marcus, you know what picture to flash right now? Barry Allen. Yeah. The fast man alive. Mm-hmm. Well, wow, well done. QT music. <laughs> um. Oh well, yeah, cool. So, what? I said cool. Yeah, all right. That's I'm fine. convinced Mike still doesn't know who Josh Peck. I is. guarantee he doesn't know who that is. Who Josh Peck. Is. What's Drake's last name? No idea. I didn't watch Drake and Parker. Josh as a child. Why did you not watch Drake and Josh as a child? Because we didn't child? watch YTV. We watched Family Channel. What? I believe you meant uh, Disney Channel and Nickelodeon. Disney XD. Don't wink at me. It's weird, <laughs> and they can't see yeah, it. Yeah, Marcus, stop doing that. No, it's you yeah, throwing Marcus. you right under that bus. Stupid Hufflepuff. You're looking at too. I am a Hufflepuff. Oh, I'm not. What are you? I'm the Gryffindor. Oh, that Gryffindor. I'm pretty sure that's the good one. Stupid Gryffindor looking ass. I don't know, bro. I don't that's like the Harry ones Potter. with the real heroes, right? Yeah. Shout we out play, to Andrew. You're like Potter. Harry Potter. You'll play Quidditch real good. Yeah. Nice. That's racist. What? Stop throwing that card out. It's not racist. Are you mad that you're Hufflepuff? A little bit. Why? I'm Hufflepuff is great. You're mad that I'm Gryffindor. If you right? read the books, they literally say, this is good, what's good about Gryffindor, this is what's good about Slytherin, this is what's good about Ravenclaw, and they're like, oh, and everybody else is Hufflepuff. That's exactly what they say. Like, but the thing is, you exude a Hufflepuff. I'm not exactly exude? sure what it, like, entails to be one, but I assume, like, it's kind of, like, soft and, like, afraid of everything. I'm not afraid of everything. And... Only butterflies. Mike doesn't like see, butterflies or small animals. See, I'm like, if you this couldn't deal with a butterfly, how could you deal with, like, dragons in the world of Harry Potter? That's a valid Dragons point. and old men. Old wizards. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so, be? just a quick fact here, um, from yeah. the Harry Potter wikia.com. Oh, God. Yep. Students belonging to this house are known as hardworking, friendly, loyal, honest, and rather impartial. You're welcome. It may be due to their values. Hufflepuffs are not competitive as the other houses. That's not true. I'm competitive as shit. And are the most modest about their Also not true. Were there, were there ever any main characters that were Hufflepuff? No. Um, so they're like all the extras. Yes. Yeah. So that's pretty much what a Hufflepuff designs you. Yeah. Yeah. You're yeah. never important to the main Yeah. The main that's thing. basically, basically it. That's, yeah. that's basically me and my life anyway, so it's fine. Yeah. Dang. <laughs> Self burn right there. <laughs> Sounds about right. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Harry Potter Wikia. Appreciate it. Yes. I'm a natural Harry. <laughs> I'm okay. a wizard. Dog. You're naturally dog. Harry. <laughs> You're a wizard, Harry. I'm not a fucking wizard. If anybody knows where that's from, you're a god, but it's fine. No, he's a wizard. <laughs> nice. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Okay. Wrong. Stop. Please, stop. <laughs> stop. No, here, stop. Stop it, Ron. Stop. That's another video <laughs> that I'm not going to mention because this podcast is going to get taken down, but it's fine. It's fine. Stop. It's I wasn't fine. even stop meant it. to. Stop it. Stop it. Taking us 
taking us on the Hogwarts Express out of here, out of this bitch. Oh, nice. I remember with that owl and shit. Was that his pet? No breaks. No, it was his pet. Hedwig. Hedwig. Wait, the spider? No, the owl. No, What's that's, the spider? Uh, that's Charlotte. There are many spiders. <laughs> Charlotte's a <away. laughs> yeah. Who's the big spider? I don't know. He died in like uh, book Ar- six. Aragog. That's like yeah, the, yeah. That's that like, guy died that's in like book that six. Boss you fight in Zelda. Yeah, or that one boss in Dark no, Souls. That's uh, Goma. Are you those? <laughs> We're getting off topic. Just a little bit. Just a tad. All right. We've got a whole bunch of news this week. Uh, as we stray away from our little thirty-second banter of thirty seconds. That was not thirty seconds. You're right. My bad. Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff looking ass. Wrecked, because I know it means something to you. For me, it doesn't mean anything to me. Wait, what are... You're a muggle. That's what it is. Damn. No. Yeah. I don't fucking know. I don't... Oh, well. He's trying fine. so hard. I did. I really did. I got no idea. What's the guy's name? Ganondorf? Harry Potter. Ganondorf? Dumbledore? Ganondorf, yes. His name is Ganondorf. The guy with the white beard. Ganondorf. Gan- Gandalf? Yeah. No, Ganondorf. You are right the first time. just want to let everybody know that I know what I'm talking about. I just sound like an ignorant piece of shit, because uh, I'm trying to be. Moving on. Um... Our first piece of news this week is actually from Microsoft. Um, head of Xbox, Phil Spencer, wrote, Moving forward, we plan to release all the new Xbox One exclusive games from Microsoft Studios into the game pa- uh, Xbox Game Pass on the same date as their global release. This means when Sea of Thieves launches on March 20th, which, by the way, I am getting, I have it pre-ordered already, um, it will include... Very rebel relevant information. It is. It will in- be included in the Xbox Game Pass to all members. This plan... To bring new games timed uh, with their global release into the Xbox One Game Pass not only includes announcements like Sea of Thieves, Statue of, uh, Statue, Statue. Statue. State of Statue. Decay 2, and Crackdown 3, but for future announcements, uh, unannounced games from Microsoft Studios, um, including new iterations of their biggest Xbox One exclusives, such as Halo, Forza, and Gears of War, uh, on the same day that they'd launch. So can I ask, let me, let me ask a, a question here. Would it be the, um, the fee... For the the subscription, and then um, would it be the uh, the like an extra fee for these no, this full is, price games? Or this is big because they are including like you're paying. I forget how much. It's like ten bucks in America, so like around twelve or thirteen here a month. right? Yeah, so it's you pay your monthly fee like a Netflix, and they're adding these games on top of like the one hundred plus games you already get there. So yeah. every first party Microsoft game is going to be included in the Game Pass if you if you subscribe to it. It's eleven ninety nine yeah. Canadian, so it's ten dollars. So I know I was like doing the math earlier, and it's pretty much as if it's the equivalent of if you were to pay for two full price games a year. Yeah, so, I mean, if they release two full price games a year, it and makes you sense. plan to buy them anyways, it's pretty much like you get them as well as like a hundred plus yeah. three sixty original Xbox and Xbox One yeah. games on it. Mm-hmm. So if it works, even it, and you don't even need gold for it. So wow, if you don't want to play online, like online, like Sea of Thieves, you would need gold. So you'd pay an extra like sixty or seventy word, depending on where you live for that and the subscription for Game Pass. But I think this is really big. Like, Oh, it's huge. Yeah. You know why it's big, though? It's big because it's the first real, like, major company who's going towards a game-as-service thing. Like, away from the, you know, selling them a la carte and more mm-hmm. towards a Netflix style, like you mentioned before, where they're selling their games as a package mm-hmm. for a monthly subscription instead of selling the games a la carte, which is... Nothing's ever like that's ever been done, and especially for like the first party games. Because on top of this, you also like the I don't know if it would really appeal to people if like your main people if they were if they're just looking to get a um, Gears of War or a Halo. I would assume maybe they'll be interested in like a Crackdown or whatever. And if they play Sea of Thieves or State of Decay, they'll get into it and be like, "Hey, I kind of like this. Maybe I'll just keep going, and I don't really I can just let the subscription go on, and I'll just enjoy what I get." Um, The question is, will first like there's gonna be what maybe like maximum five first party microsoft games a year Mm -hmm. coming like brand new because we're not really ever going to be getting third party games here like at least new ones unless microsoft pulls a deal with like ubisoft or something it's like hey we'll pay like a million dollars just keep far cry 5 on here for a year and then after yeah because the way that works is like netflix where games certain the games will come off after a certain amount of time like i believe like metal gear solid 5 was on here and it's coming out at the end of this month or something like that so, but these will stay here forever, just like already Halo 5 and Gears of War 4 are already on here. Yeah. Um, if just strictly the first party catalog isn't enticing enough for people, then, I th- which I'm not entirely sure it is, it, I think it could be huge. I also don't really think they lose much money at this because you look at, there. it's two games a year, these people were probably going to only buy two of these, what, like four? 
know, four to six games that they put out a year anyways from the yeah. first party. I don't think your Sea of Thieves player is going to want to pick up Forza. And Forza does well enough on its own, so they don't have to worry about that. But your Halo player will probably not have picked everything else up as well. So pretty much like that, you're pretty much getting the money they would have bought with Halo and the money that, like, pretty much, like, an extra, like, $12 a month, which would, like, accumulate to them buying you and buying another game from you. Yeah, they're getting so. they're getting the benefit of people getting a chance to try games, mm-hmm. you know, because I don't... That's I'm, like... Yeah, go ahead. No, I because I'm... I'm saying I'm pretty sure they don't have to really pay the third parties until, like... I, I think they would pay them up front, at least I would assume they pay them up front yeah. for getting the games and be like, hey, Konami, we'll pay, like, a million dollars for Metal Gear Solid Five to be here for five months or whatever. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, they'll, they'll basically buy it mm-hmm. or rent it, I guess. But, yeah, it's a great way to get people to try your games that otherwise they wouldn't have, and you never know. Maybe they'll fall mm-hmm. in love with it and buy merch and, then, and then they make or more Or just buy it, like, downright and, like, just download it. So that, Well, you can download it, but straight up, like, buy it themselves if they don't want to have the service anymore. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure they even get more money because you actually have to pay for, like, DLC or whatever. So it works out, like, you get the game. You have them slowly paying for the game over time with the subscription to you. And yeah. then you also get them probably... They'd be more willing to probably buy DLC if they see, like, well, I didn't actually pay full yeah, price for this. I might yeah. as well spend $3 it, on the skin yeah. or whatever. It's the same idea with, like, a mobile game. So people will buy... Oftentimes they'll buy more stuff than mobile games because they realize, I really like this game, but I didn't pay in for it and it, at all. So, like, mm-hmm. you know, I'll throw them a dollar. It's the same kind of idea, right? The thing is, will the other two big, like, Nintendo and PlayStation try and do this if it succeeds... Um, but like, I think Microsoft the reason why they're doing this partly is because like we mentioned this before, like they're losing yeah, right they now. Can they can do need, what they yeah, want. They can experiment. Or they can't do what they want, but they have to try and do new things. Yeah. So I mean, this is definitely one of those things. If this works out, I feel like they would have to introduce it into whatever the next Xbox is or next generation of yeah. them. And I really don't think, one, I don't think Nintendo would ever do something like this, especially for new games. Not saying like maybe virtual console style, that could possibly happen. But for new games, no, Nintendo's too stubborn to ever want to do that. Very true. And Sony is just way too far ahead in the leader, like two to one on like console yeah. sales. So there's really no use yeah. for them to ever do this. Unless it does blow up like huge and people are like, we're sick of what you've been offering us with PlayStation now, which has just been like, no one ever really talks yeah. about PlayStation now. Whereas if this blows up, then I could see maybe they try and like, they like comment on it or like say, you know, maybe we'll try something. Yeah. If it does well, you know, mm-hmm. they're going to copy it. I mean, it's, it's the way the game is does. If, if you're in, but the thing is, you're probably going to be, they're going to get you anyways with the, um, the Xbox live gold because like crackdown stated, can't see if these all pretty much, yeah, like rely on some oh my, sort of yeah. multiplayer, which would probably be the reason someone's yeah, buying sure. this in the first place. So there really is not, there's not really a lose, like a loss scenario for Microsoft in this case. Yeah, they they lose on the people who like play every single game, but like how many people mm-hmm. play every single game? Not many. Most of them will buy it, you know, play a few games a year and basically pay the same because amount they would have either way. I'm pretty. I don't know how many people would actually like cancel their subscription because I'm pretty sure even most people with Netflix or like a Spotify or whatever they they use their month trial or however long trial and then they're like. It before it like cancels out on them you know what it's not that much and it's like yeah i've already been been with it for like a month i, I kind of can't see myself living without it that's how yeah. it was with like apple music when yeah, I, had I was that, gonna like, say the same trial thing. i'm like man this is actually pretty i was cool. gonna say like, the same thing unlimited music or whatever i'm like it's only the five bucks or whatever i'll yeah, just keep going exactly you, you're already used to like mm-hmm. having the service you're like i don't know if i can live without it and yeah i did the same thing for apple yeah. music for sure the only thing like the only people i could really see getting screwed in this are like the retailers like physical like brick and mortar yeah. stores but, but they've been on the decline. They're on their way out anyways. Yeah. Seeing as when you walk into an EB Games or GameStop, it's all like Funko Pops. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. I feel like in the like ten years they'll be gone. So like, yeah. this is not really a bad thing for them. It's, it's whatever. Well, Matt, what about you? Because you, you're really like, you're the one with only like an active online membership right now on Xbox and play you are primarily correct. there. You are correct. With this, like, do you, do you still just want to buy your games like piecemeal, or would you go for a subscription like this and continue to play? So here's the thing. I mean, you don't you don't own these games, correct? No. Right. So, you're but you're basically like, streaming them. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, you can download them. No, yeah. I mean, yeah. like, it's the same you're idea. like renting it. Yeah. Well. yeah renting, but yeah. what you can do, I know from time to time they do offer discounts on the games that are on Game Pass already. So. Yes, yeah, so you feel like you can buy it out. Yeah. 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 I mean, here the thing is, it's just like. I don't know if this would entice me to 100% buy Game Pass. I mean, I'm already backlogged as it is, um, in a sense. And I, f- I personally like physical games. Mm-hmm. I know, I know, it's never. I'm, I'm, I'm with you there. I was going to point that out soon. Like, I never. Um, I know the digital. I I have lots of digital games just because you know I don't have time to um, 
uh, what's it called, to go to the store, or I just didn't pre-order on Amazon, or I didn't... It's more convenient. Digital it, is more convenient. It I is, 100%. I understand agree. Or if you're playing on PC. Oh, well, here's the thing. I mean, yeah. that's, the, that's the thing. I have, um, I have um, Sea of Thieves pre-ordered on the Xbox because I can play it on my PC, too, right? And I don't, I don't need to, like, with the Xbox One Play Anywhere program. And I think this also works if you do have Game Pass. You could also play the PC versions as well yeah, for, yeah. These, uh, for the first yeah. part of the game. So. See, the thing is, I mean, like, this list, it's a good list of games. Uh, the new Halo, the new Forza. So you're getting at least four new games this year. Like, with yeah. the, the these three you mentioned, and then the new Forza, which will absolutely come out this year. And if they do a new Halo, what? I and then what myself, it personally, it would be, like, I'd play Halo. I would play Forza. I would play The Gears. Um... Crackdown three, I would try, but not right away. But here's the thing with the thi- with the Game Pass, you already get the game yeah. when it comes out anyway. So I know. You'd, be, you'd be like, oh yeah. wow, it came out that day, right. I already own it. And that's yeah. the exact advantage, like I mentioned before, like the fact that you could try it, like having not have to pay a dime for it. Well, basically, yeah. You know what I mean? Or if you wanted to try Crackdown three, but you didn't want to buy it, you pay ten bucks, or you even do the free trial or whatever. I do you a free trial, like a play. It, yeah. yeah, you try it, and then if you like it, you buy the game. Right? Yeah. If you don't, you don't. You know, that's what's good about this. In a sense, it's I'm on the fence, right? So like I was gonna say. I like the physical stuff. I don't know. I would. I wouldn't know if it would entice me to do so. But at the same time, looking at the list, there's no disadvantages. There, there's literally nothing wrong with this. Uh, this year, I mean, it would benefit. For example, me, somebody who plays um, the Xbox exclusives, it would benefit me for sure. really, really but then greatly. You look at like other gamers, like me, for example. Like the only really game like series there that I care about is Halo, and even Halo, like I, I'm not, you know, in it enough to care but, about day one launch. Yeah. And it is also if you do want all of like the hundred plus old games that are on there. That's too. true. The only thing that I could see, I think this will be a pretty a pretty good success for them. But I, the only way I could see this like stepping even further is if they could get some third party or indie games like day one there as well. Yeah, for a little while. And you know they're trying. It's just more of probably the third parties are I waiting mean, to I see. Would, no, I would bet they each do their own because EA already has EA access. That's true. So. And I would bet, like, Ubisoft and Activision would either just do their own rather mm-hmm. than jump onto somebody else's. Yeah. But, I mean, if Microsoft is going to pay them enough, yeah, they would they would do the thing. <laughs> they would do the best uh, business move, you know. They wouldn't be like, I want my own. They'd, they'd mm-hmm. take the money if Microsoft offered them a lot of money. Yeah. It all, it all depends. I mean, it's definitely something I would look into. Um, considering it's like you can play the full game anyway for five bucks. or, or Sorry, for, for ten bucks. Yeah. Um, Plus, I with my Xbox One X, I got a free trial of it anyways. So, I mean, I might wait until, like, four of those things come out and I just play them, right, yeah. in in a month. But, um, I don't know. It depends. I, I, I'd, it's, it's definitely something I need to look at, right, um, mm-hmm. with a lot of things. Like, especially with... Because I like owning things. That's what I like. I like having a collection of things, yeah, me right? Too. But at the same time, I don't know. It just... It all depends. I'm on the fence. I don't know. I'll get back to you guys in, like, two months when I make a decision, but it's fine. I don't know. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah. Next thing. Moving on. Um, I like how this is what you put second. <laughs> Mitomo. My favorite game of all time. Oh, um, yeah. 2016 game of the year. I think that was 2016. 2015, no? No, 2016. Oh, you sure? Like you oh, yeah. That's right. It's 2018. I thought it was 2017. Never mind. Sh- I'll have to Nintendo out. has announced that they are officially shutting down Mitomo. Their first mobile app, which is launched March 2016. Rest in peace, Mitomo. We had a lot of fun, us three on it, asking each other <laughs> questions the for the first... game ever. Both. Asking each other questions for the first two hours. Yeah. And then never, never playing it again. Yeah. Actually, my Twitch picture is a Matomo picture. Nice. That I'm not even kidding. As you do. It was such a like, it was it was so weird because I actually got into this because it wasn't a mobile game. It was like a social media platform yeah. kind of that only Nintendo could have done. And it was just like some of the most funniest like things that we had in, like our group, like our circle of friends, just like going around <laughs> asking stupid ass yeah. questions. <laughs> and the best, I think, the real appeal of it was that you would actually hear the me say. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. made it funny too, because like they would say every word, like not even. I'm actually shocked about. that they're actually closing it down, though. Like less than or almost like a little over two well, years. Since yeah, but you can months. imagine that they're they're literally like, yeah, there's nobody after. on it. Yeah, yeah. It's, I remember that now. I could just see like if. Do you really think they're even doing real well in the mobile space then? Because I, I don't think the mobile market, aside from Pokemon Go, has really been treating Nintendo the way they thought it would. Heroes actually did pretty well, surprisingly. True, but, but like, yeah, I think with like Mario Run, run well. because people like you can't expect the mobile market to want to pay anything more than a dollar for yeah. something. Um, I don't know. Apps got really expensive lately. 
I was looking at the Google Play Store the other day. Things are like fucking ten dollars, twelve dollars. I saw an app for twenty four ninety nine on the App Store. I was like, what the Impossible. fuck? I'm not even kidding. Things are expensive. But that's the thing. It's there's like a notion that if it's more than five bucks on a phone, then it's not worth it. Whereas like we pay like eighty dollars for games brand new, so you should expect like if you want a premium game, you're gonna have to pay a little bit more than what the standard is yeah. on yeah. a phone. And well, but me Tomo in particular, it's free. And I'm pretty sure they probably saw a very large drop off after that first sure. month. <laughs> after the first yeah. five hours, honestly though, like <laughs> seriously, like, I, I could, wow. I don't know. And yeah, they they never integrated it into when the switch was out because this was even before the switch was the, revealed. Right? The yeah, only yeah. the only integration they had with Mitomo for the switch was being able to find your friends. yeah find your friends through Mitomo. Yeah, um, which I, mean, I don't think helpful. you can do anymore. Can know. you? I don't know. Probably not in like May or whenever it shuts down. But <laughs> yeah. um, it was fun for what it was. Honestly, yeah. like, like I, I definitely enjoyed my three hours with the game. <laughs> mm-hmm. I feel like maybe if they added more of a kind of game element to it, like the um, what are those three DS games again? The that oh, they're yeah, kind of the, based like, off. Yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this Tomodachi, Tomodachi Life. Life. Yeah. yeah, and there's another one that came out recently. Yeah, well, that's like the RPG one, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, if they integrated a more like that into like maybe you built a house or you built like a space you could be with your friends, or because yeah. all you could pretty much even spend money on was costumes, yeah. and you had to like go and find where to spend money. They yeah. were pretty good about not like shoving microtransactions yeah. in your face. And they even gave you like coins and like with the My Nintendo points each year, which also like if you have these My Nintendo points, I think they're even going to go away. Yeah, yeah. And you can't are. like you can't even really do anything with them anyways, unless you want to buy a fucking like Pikmin two <laughs> screenshot or for, <laughs> wallpaper for your phone. Yeah. Um, but I'm just curious to see what else, the, um, the everything they've announced so far for mobile, except for I think didn't they say they're working on something Zelda for mobile? They didn't. They didn't. I thought they there was did. a rumor. That they had a Zelda game, yeah. but they never said anything. But other than that, it was like Fire Emblem and Animal Crossing we knew. So everything yeah. that they've been working on is out, unless I mean, that Zelda thing, I can't remember. It makes it sense for them to do a Zelda one, but like they, they've never said anything about mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Uh, it was, it, they pr- probably didn't lose much money on this. No, they you got, can tell yeah. it was like a prototype probably for a future mm-hmm. game, because like it was pretty bare bones, honestly. You can, but, somebody could have done it, it, coded it in like two Yeah, weeks. like it was like pretty it's easy. It was just asking questions. I mean, something yeah. too complicated. Yeah, it was f- fun for what it was, and I don't think it will be missed that much. But I yeah. don't think so. What day is the, it that it's shutting down? May 9th? Uh, it's yeah. shutting down May 9th. Yeah, on um, May 9th, we gotta, we gotta get together and PDT. ask some questions together. I remember it would take like 30 minutes to turn on. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. Took forever. Yeah, oh yeah. Which is even worse, because like you, like, what's like, going on in that game yeah. that's taking forever to load? I don't know. <laughs> no idea. <sighs> Moving on. Um, God of War. Sony announced you God of War. Son of War? What? Somebody saw me before I hit him. Son- uh, Sony. Sony. <laughs> oh boy, Mike, I'm gonna hit you repeatedly. I'd probably deserve it. You do? 100%. Sony has officially announced that God of War for PS4 will be, um, just, just out here trying to throw out your garbage here and just fucking... It doesn't fit. I'm calling you out on it. I'm calling right out on the podcast. It didn't fit in the garbage. No cuts, no nothing. You're getting called out flat. Nice. Well, that's we're just going to sit here and wait for Marks to shove his cup in the garbage. Restarting. Yeah, so Sony's announcing God of War. Um, they announced that it's coming out uh, April 20th. 420. Um, Nintendo Lab. <laughs> that's also coming out 420. Is it really? Yeah. No, it's Nintendo Lab coming out 420, just saying. Fucking... Okay. Nintendo's gonna release like a fucking cardboard cutter of a bong. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> you put it, you put water on it, and it makes the sound effects. It's rated E for everyone. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah, for everyone. See, it's gonna be legal here soon. It's fine. True. Not for under eighteen though. Shh. Continue, please. Continuing. Um, the company also released a new trailer, giving more details about the story of the game. It looks interesting. I, I didn't, enjoy it. Oh, I didn't watch the trailer because I don't oh, want to be I, spoiled. I didn't cool. watch it. Um, but yeah, it's just been, we've been waiting forever for a release date on a Sony first party game forever. Yes. And I'm fucking happy. I can't wait. This is the most, one of the most anticipated mm-hmm. games this year. Honestly, this, this announcement actually made me a little sad. Um, Mark, you can probably guess why. Because I doubt they'll release Detroit. No. <laughs> I doubt they'll release Detroit like around the same time as this uh, game. I don't know. Detroit's not coming out at all this year. That's what exactly. Out That's because the point. They Sean said Layden, spring. Sean Layden said last year at, during E3 or something, some convention that anything that or it was E3, anything that they showed there with a tw- with it ending in 2018. Excuse me. Anything, any trailer that. Excuse me again. Oh my god. 
any trailer that they showed for the for a game that ended in 2018 was the first half. Yeah. So that was God of War, Spider Man, and then David Cage, who works on Detroit, also said that would be spring 2018. And there was something else. I think maybe it was Shadow of the Colossus, which comes out yeah, February. Like February. Yeah. So we're, we're supposed to get God of War and Spider Man. I unless Spider Man is June around E3, maybe same with Detroit, but they need something. Well, they don't need something for the for the end yeah, of this month. But you'd but, like that, yeah. Somebody. I feel like it's possible one of them could. I don't even know. I feel like we've seen some of Spider-Man, but not enough for it. Mm-hmm. We've seen so much of Detroit already that I think it could be summer. Yeah, you know Detroit's ready to go. Or not ready to go, but like the whole game's mm-hmm. done. They just got to finish polishing it. But who knows how long that could take with a game with that many. If anything, branches. for sure, we'll see Detroit this year. But I don't know. I'm so like like adverse to trusting whenever mm-hmm. a publisher, whenever they say that it's going to come out this year. Because they have to say it for audiences and like shareholders or whatever. Yeah. But... But you know that it, until it comes out, until mm-hmm. it's it's in your hand, that's you why never I'm know like Red Dead Redemption Two is it coming out this year. Probably not. It's probably coming out fall this year. Um, Detroit, I label that as a spring 2019 title. No, no. no I no, say no, Detroit no. comes out this year because we've already seen it, so many demos of it. And Spider Man, like like you would have thought they would have wanted to maybe tie it into uh, Infinity War. Yeah. I guess not. If any, I feel like there's a chance they could come out, but if only they were, to, if only one were to, it would, it would be Detroit. I would say. Yeah. Because Spider-Man's going to do big whatever. Like, for that sure. game, whenever a trailer or something's posted on YouTube, it does really freaking well. Yeah. And especially it's, for it being, I mean, like, a console. Every, Spider-Man. Everybody loves Spider-Man. Like, it's going to be great. I feel like that'll be, like, a pretty, like, not, like, a huge system, but it'll be a system seller for a lot of people. Yeah. This year's the year I get a PlayStation again. So. I say, like, if they do a, with the if they do, like, a mm-hmm. Spider-Man PS4, like, Spider-Man themed PS4 Pro, <sighs> then I would cool. jump I, You know what? Like, I, I, I've never not, thought of it before now, but yeah. Yeah, it's not, like, a sticker, then. Yeah, like, it's actually, like, a cool, like, decal. Yeah. Yo. The giant fucking Darth Vader yeah. with a giant Yo. sticker. Like, yeah, that, that sounds amazing. I actually, yep. I'm so down yeah, for that. that. Yeah. Um, before we get too too lost in this conversation, um, other quick release dates that happened that Marcus failed to put on here that I'm going to say anyway. Um, the beta for CFTs was last week. People absolutely loved it and ate it up. On the Friday, <laughs> J- uh, January 26th, we had Monster Hunter Worlds and Dragon Ball Fighter Z come out as well. Uh, people out also Just loved a lot. So I mean, they did well. Um, yeah, I heard really good things about Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter, much did. everybody. Mike's yeah. gonna play it all and talk about it next week. I uh, really wanted. Unlikely. That's sixty hours of gameplay. Did you know that at Monster least. Hunter is sixty no, hours yeah, of ga- no? That's the campaign. Mm. But that's not. That's not including like your own pace. You yeah. can put so much time no. into Monster Hunter. Okay. I don't have 60 hours. Holy. I it barely, is literally I, a I second job. Two. Yeah, it did really well. I mean, like, there was already there was already a tournament for um, Dragon Ball even before the freaking game came out. Whoever uh, whoever voiced the... Um, uh, whoever voiced the... the uh, I don't remember. Goku and Vegeta. I they, <laughs> yeah, Goku and Vegeta. They played, uh, they played on uh, online as well. Um, on Fajita. the stage. Yeah, Goku and Fajita. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Oh, you're going to piss off so many people. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for those emails. Just email Marcus at nothingbutgamespodcast at gmail.com. Um, All right, let's just continue. Yeah, I don't know. People love it. People love Sea of Thieves. People are still playing Sea of Thieves. At this current second, on Sunday night, uh, January 28th, I mean, it has 141,000 viewers just for the beta alone. People love this game. It still doesn't come out till Love March. it. I know. I'm excited for it. I'm going to get it. And then you got freaking Monster Hunter up there with 50,000, 55,000. People love it, all right? This game's fantastic. It's doing so well. Now check out how much it's on Mixer. Mixer. Mixer (laughs) Mixer.com. He's actually doing it. Why is he actually doing it? Why not? Uh, Xbox. Yeah, Mixer.com. There it is. Stop watching. Start playing. What? That was their logo. I don't know. How do you navigate this? You you don't. Next news. (laughs) Moving on. You don't. (laughs) You're right. I don't know. You don't. I I, want to say, I don't know how to navigate Mixer. Um, Yeah. Games with Gold is February. Yeah. (laughs) Shut up. Games with Gold this February. Um, Shadow Warrior for the Xbox One. Assassin's Creed Chronicles India, Xbox One. Split Second. This game was fucking great. For the Xbox 360 and Xbox One. And Crazy Taxi. That game's amazing. Crazy Taxi. That game's That's awesome. Crazy Taxi. Here we go. Yup. I remember in the... Was it? Yeah, the Dreamcast version. They had, like, actual like, KFC, like, Taco Bell, like, Levi's. Like, a bunch of brands and stuff you could drive to. Then they, like, <laughs> nice. took it out of, like... The remakes and stuff or yeah, re-releases. That's funny. Can get the Crazy Taxi is excellent. It, Mike, you don't have games school anymore, do you? Or you don't have I, game. I, I, I honestly don't even know. Like, Boys, I might. 
You see that stack over there on my desk? You just got free trials for. Days. I have I have about thirty free trials of Xbox nice. Live right there. But I don't yeah. like I might have it right now. I don't even know. What was the for, oh, yeah, Shadow, Shadow Warrior? Warrior I never is. played it. Um, never played that either myself. But uh, the Assassin's Creed Chronicles game. I have the. Right. I played China. Yeah, yeah I have China. China was free. It was yeah. yeah, it was not bad, but not like amazing. I'd say like Top of Curious Crazy Taxi. The Assassin's Creed two point five D. That's what it is. I'm not even kidding. It's, That's what yeah. they called it. Games of Gold. It's been. Mildewish kind of. It's been whatever. It's been alright. What didn't want Sony have something pretty big? Yeah, they had Batman, Telltale Series, and Deus Ex. Uh, they yeah, actually have. Uh, I actually just downloaded as well Army of Two, as well mm. yesterday. That's great. Yeah. But there now go. we are going to get into what we've been playing this week. I want to start because I'm special. I'm the host, so I can start. You are special. I'll say that. I finished nice. Wolfenstein the first game. Already jumped to the second oh, game. Like Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein: The New Order or the Old Blood? The uh, Old New Blood Order or Castle Wolfenstein? Nope. Um, w- jumped into Wolfenstein 2 as well. He literally jumped into I literally into jumped into case. it. Oh, 100%. Like the Xbox 360, jump in. Yeah. yeah. Uh, love it. Absolutely love it. I freaking love that series. I don't know why I didn't play it earlier. I'm happy I'm playing it now. Oh, Finally getting through that like backlog. Told, uh, yeah, he did tell <laughs> you me. You should have been more loud with your... Uh, I tell you, I, I don't make bad recommendations. Mm-hmm. That's, that's So, not true. you played... You beat Wolfenstein 2, yes? Yes. Fantastic? Yes. Fergus? For, uh, yes. Nice. I also picked Fergus. You recommended Dishonored to me, and uh, that didn't turn out well. You so. played both games. Shut yeah. up. <laughs> I wasn't a fan of them, so continue. I mean, at least he beat them, honestly. I, I, I wouldn't have chugged through it, but he's chugged through it, so it's fine. I was a bored boy back then. Yeah. Um, getting through that backlog, finally. Um, playing more Counter-Strike. Speaking of Counter-Strike, just going to mention this real quick. Cloud9 taking home the victory uh, against FaZe for half a million dollars at the Boston Major 2018. Thank you. You're That's welcome. My- my, uh, I was like jumping off a seat the whole time. I was. I was when they so were down nervous. like fourteen to eight or whatever it was. They lost the first map, came back, won the second map, absolutely destroyed them on overpass. Um, then they ended up throwing a little bit. They came back, won sixteen eight, I believe, and then came back and uh, went to double overtime, taking it third on Inferno. We out here. Yep. Speaking of which, the Boston Uprising beat those uh, London Spitfires. Yeah, my team. So I guess you're going to talk about Overwatch now because I'm done. I mean, you can talk about a little bit Marcus of Overwatch. Blizzard World came out. Oh, yeah, that's right. I played that. I don't know what is that? Play. It's the new map for Overwatch. It's oh. a Blizzard. It's a theme. Oh. It's a, yeah, the theme park all about Blizzard games. Yeah. Oh, wait, really? I thought it was like Snow Mountain or no. some shit. I thought it was a literally... No. Like, first I thought it was about Blizzard, like the company. Then I'm like, oh, it's about like snowing freaking mm-hmm. basically Canada outside. Nope. And then it's actually about Blizzard, right? Yeah. That's cool. Uh, I played it and I really liked the first point, like getting that, getting the control point. Yeah, and but then like, I didn't wasn't a fan of the payload delivery. It kind of reminds me like the first part reminds me of Temple of Anubis. Control yeah. point Antarctica, yeah. nice. eco point. But <laughs> nice, you tried. It's like Temple of Anubis mixed with a bit of like Numbani, I'd say. Yeah, it's got the main entrance, and then the end is kind of like Ike and Wolf. Yeah, um, the map is it's not my favorite map. I think I need to play it a bit more to like, sure. judge it. Uh, I kind of like the ending more. Of like the dark, like you're inside yeah. that castle. I was only there a couple times. So mm-hmm. I played like five times. Most but of the time, they got stuff they control. It's really cool. Like if you play Blizzard games, like there's a whole section for like World of Warcraft or Starcraft. Like the attacking team starts in like the Hearthstone Cavern or in the Hearthstone Tavern, and there's just yeah. actually there's like physical like board games like mimicking the way the Hearthstone looks. Yeah, that you can just like punch around and shit. Yeah, I'm sure if you play those games, you appreciate mm-hmm. it. But like I, I've ne- the Overwatch is literally the first Blizzard game I've ever mm-hmm. played. So like to me, it's not much. But the map is. It's pretty. It I'd say it's pretty basic in terms of like how the like last two maps. It doesn't introduce anything yeah. big like the Oasis jump pads or the um, the the Lunar Colony with the <laughs> anti grav. Yeah, the Oasis yeah. Jump, jump pads. Yeah. No, yeah. it's I just I remember fucking jumping on that thing and hooking somebody and they came flying with me. And I know like, Overwatch League. There's a pretty good play from like the one McCree. I forget who it was. There was like a McCree who went on the jump pad at high noon and then killed, killed the tracer yeah. below him. But yeah, yeah that's um, sick when they do that. Uh, the map is cool. I like the, um, the one of the funny things that was going on. The like, there's a little like roller coaster that goes around of like these like griffins, and yeah, you can yeah. get onto one and yeah, and just like ride around. Can you put like a turret on there. I like, think you that can. Probably a good idea. I'm not entirely sure, uh, but yeah, I don't know if it goes outside enough, but yeah, yeah, I thought it was cool. Um, I definitely have to play it more too. And I'm Same like way. from playing it, I don't have a problem with either defending or attack because there's some maps where I'm like I'd really rather defend on this map. Yeah. Or I'd really rather attack on this map. Mm-hmm. But I, cool I, I played it enough to... And a bunch of new items came with it as well, so yeah. I've pretty much only been getting sprays because I've had every other item. Two blues and a gray. Yeah. <laughs> Every uh, time. Yeah. So Sounds about right. What else have you guys been playing? Anything? I finished Hellblade. Atta boy, how was that? Uh, I pretty much feel the same way from when I first talked about it last week. Mm-hmm. Is I liked it a lot as a story and like the 
like what it was trying to tell, but as a game, game. it doesn't really do much different yep. after you played for the first like 40 minutes. Yep. So yeah, the attacking is all the same and then the like the pu- the puzzles do get a bit different. There's just one a- area of the game where I'm just going to spoil a bit of it, not like major spoilers, but I'll say one part of it where there's like it's like eight crystals or, or not eight, there's like what four or five crystals that come up. You yep. go to like different parts. Of yeah, that's like the, the part world. I was telling you. That's about the part before. you were talking about. Yeah, yeah where it, the gameplay kind of gets different. Yeah, there. that's the most unique. It's like this gets. little mini gauntlet. Yeah, and that one was okay. If they if they had like me done it more like that, where you're doing kind of different puzzles the entire time, it would have been cool. But yeah. yeah, as for like a game, it's it was mediocre. Well, like not yeah, mediocre. mediocre. That's a very 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 wrong word in the situation. I apologize. No, that's not <laughs> no mediocre is like okay to put it. Like it doesn't do anything amazing. But yeah. as like a story, it's good. Fantastic, yeah. yeah. yeah it's like really it's cool. worth playing because of the story, but it's it's not worth like loving because of the game. Basically, mm. that's what I'd say. I guess it's more of those things where it's like feeling over game. I remember Matt was telling me last week, like, would you recommend somebody like watch it? I would still recommend you play the game regardless. Yeah. I wouldn't me really too. I wouldn't really ever recommend watching someone play a game, even if it's a bad game over it. I would recommend you always play the game. Yeah. Especially a game with story, because like mm-hmm. you go your own pace. Um but yeah, I would say pick it up if you're interested in the story and you're willing to push through it because it's a really like slow game, for sure. Even oh, though it sure. is only like seven hours. Yeah, so. most of the game is just you watch walking and like mm-hmm. thinking or the or Senua And I don't know if this was because I remember before the game came out there was like a big uh, hullabaloo of like people being like because but when like thirty minutes into the game or whatever when you're first encountered with combat you realize, like, Senua gets, like, these, like, black, like, darkness on her armor yeah. or whatever going up, and it's, like, if you keep dying or whatever, if the, what is it, I forget what they call it. Yeah, the, the dark spot. Or the yeah, the spot dark, like, like, if the dark spot reaches Senua's mind, then you lose all progress, you'll go back yeah. to the beginning. Was that true? No. Did that ever no, happen? No, that was a total placebo. They, they just wanted you to think that, so you yeah. played more carefully, so you played slower, but yeah. It, I, I watch people test it and they die again and again and again and nothing ever happens. Okay. It always just gets like right here and just doesn't yeah, go Yeah, because I died a couple times near the end and then after like the black was getting all the way to like her shoulder and like never Yeah, yeah you got yeah. concerned, right? That's what they wanted. Mm-hmm. It was basically 100% placebo. They just wanted you to think that so you played more carefully which is how they wanted the, you to play the game. Yeah, I remember when I first played the game I saw that and this is before I knew and I was like, what? That's stupid. I was actually really upset because I'm like, I kind of want to just die and see what mm-hmm. happens but it turns out they were just messing with us. So. Hmm. Because it's never even told to you at the end that, yeah. like that there was nothing. So yeah, yeah that ending was a uh, pretty confusing. Mm-hmm. Eh? I, I won't say. Shout it out to this. yeah, hell if you watch like Thor Ragnarok or you're into like the North yeah. the Norse mythology or Thor side of Marvel comics, then you'll know some <laughs> shit. Yeah, cool. Mike, did nothing? you did you plan on it by the way? No, I missed a bunch of. Uh, yeah, once too. I missed like one of the collectibles, I'm like, I'm not going back. To yes, it's too me slow. too. There's I, no chapter select. Yeah, so. but it's so annoying because it's one freaking trophy. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. And it's just like, and they're all like silvers and golds. Yeah, so. and it's like it's so easy to get that damn plan. I'm like, oh, I don't want to play the game again. Just like to go three years ago, me or whatever, I would have been all on that. But now I'm like, I don't have time. Yeah, agreed. Mike, what have you been playing? Uh, I played like five, maybe six rounds of Blizzard World, and that's it. Nice. All right. So that does it, just about does it, basically. And that was on, like, Tuesday, too, so that was a long time ago. Wow. So you got to step that game up. Step yeah. the game up, Mark. Yeah. I did. I did step my game up. Yeah, okay, moving on. <laughs> I don't think so, either. There's no proof. It's fine. So, nobody knows what I'm talking about. We're all going to hold hands here for a second. Okay. All right. Now. <laughs> People are getting... so confused about what just happened. I don't know. I, I we'll always have that little moment together, guys. Yeah. Just, it's just us being us. Yeah. We'd like to thank you all for listening and participating in today's episode of podcast. Um, to, they're participating by enjoying and watching and listening yes, and to listening us. Listening to our soothing voices. Yeah. If you actually want to participate, though, you can email us at the Nothing But Games Podcast at gmail.com. Yeah. Send and us your questions. We'll do a questions. mailbag if uh, we get enough uh, responses. Yeah. Send us your suggestions. Send us what you think we should improve on. Anything of the sort. Because we know people are listening. We know you're you're listening out there. We appreciate it. We love you guys. Um, yeah. So stay tuned for next week. And uh, bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.